Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh boy, you're thinking to yourself, ah, it's history. <laughs> All right, that's the first. Yeah, you're like, ah, it's over. It's over. I'm going to focus on money. Thank you. I'm going to focus on making my money, right? You're putting all of your energy into whatever it is that you're creating, whatever your work, your business, whatever this is, your financial stability. You're just, you're out here just working. The daily hustle. That's it. Okay. Um, yeah. But there's a person out here, I feel like, um, who's in love with you and wants to come and talk. Now, this is somebody you haven't heard from from a long time. There's been no action. I feel like um, this is somebody who may have um, had some kind of love affair with you. You could have been put in a third-party situation. Yeah, see, look, you're both getting signs and synchronicities that this person's on their way in. Like, you can feel it, okay? I, I don't know. It's like you can feel this person approaching, yet you think this is over. Okay, but they are on the verge of confessing how they feel. They really are. I feel like you may have been treated like a third party, and this person may have tried to keep you, you know, on the down low or something, but they're in love with you, Collective, and they're ready to come in and talk. This is definitely somebody that has taken way too long to come in and communicate because you are already thinking this is history, man. This is over. All right, so I feel like with this eye on you, um, yeah, you, and you're in this divine feminine energy here. I feel like your person is watching you, but I kind of get the sense that there's someone else watching you also. I feel like it could be um, a darker energy, okay? I feel like everybody's watching you right now because you're on a glow up. You're, you're in your divine feminine power here making a lot of money you're making bank um and i feel like your style is changing as well you're out here treating yourself looking beautiful making money i feel like some of you are working your way into like wealth okay um you could be in the public eye as well because the eyes are all on you so i feel like you're in the spotlight Something about the snow, too. Somebody may see you as being very cold because, you know what, you think this is over. It's all dried up. It's, it's, this happened so long ago. This could have happened years ago. The years you were maybe hoping for this person to come in and tell you how they feel. But since they took no action, man, you're just done. You're not, you're not, um, you're not seeing this as, an opportunity anymore now you're putting all your focus into yourself you're treating yourself really good out here you're looking good your money looks great you look great um yeah it's i'm here and i can do bad all by myself like bad b-a-d-d -D, like great okay um yeah there's a karmic over here that's trying to trap your money your your money i wanted to say so maybe they're 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 wanting what you've got I, I i don't know why money came out of my mouth um they're trying to trap your pregnant your <laughs> you're pregnant some of you are getting pregnant too they're trying to trap your person with a possible pregnancy they want yeah you know i feel like they want money as well and they're looking at your finances i gotta say i feel like there's someone else in the picture here that is um, watching you very closely, envious, um, sending you some bad energy because you're out here just doing you, focused on you, focused on your money, you're making bank. They may not like it. They're trying to keep this masculine wherever they are, and I feel like they can't. This, this masculine is so triggered right now to come towards you. Yeah, insatiable. They're watching you on social media. So whatever you're doing on social media, um, I feel like the whoever this is, a karmic, 
is focused on you looking at you under a fake profile. So is this masculine. The masculine is completely obsessed with you, uh, possibly watching you under a fake profile. I feel like somebody here is trying to figure out how to access your computer stuff, so be very careful about that. And I feel like um, you're just kind of done. Yep. <laughs> As I say that, that's on the bottom of the deck. You're kind of done with this. This masculine wants to come together, but you learned your lessons from the last cycle. And I feel like you're just focused on you. That's what this is. You're thinking, oh, nope, this is history. It's over. Man, I'm telling you, it's not. It's not over. This masculine wants to come towards you. You're in the process of moving forward, disconnecting, but this masculine can feel that disconnect. They, it feels like a harsh cutoff. Maybe that's why they're thinking, how can you be so cold? Yeah, this isn't over though. You may be disconnecting from them, but this person, this whoever this divine masculine is, they... They're not about to let you go that easily. Um, they're definitely on the verge of coming in. Yeah, and, and as I say that, I get a pop-up visit here. Um, yeah, this person is about to pop up. They're just going to spontaneous, spontaneously come flying over to your house, you know. Yeah, they're obsessed with you. They're bringing in an offer. They've learned their lessons from this karmic situation, okay? And I feel like they've been in denial, but not anymore. There could be children involved in this, or um, you could ha you, this could be the father of your children. Take it how it resonates. But this person wants to commit. There's going to be an offer on the table. They're completely obsessed. They cannot let you go, okay? Um, expect this person to just show up, like I said, on your doorstep wanting to talk. Um, the, yeah, they learned their lesson. They're leaving this, this karmic. It, this feels like a divorce case. I feel like there are children involved and this person's going to have to pay some child support or alimony. Yeah, but they realize here, they realize that this karmic is toxic. They've already, like, um... They, you know, they're already cutting off this karmic because they want you. They want you. They want a new beginning with you, and you're leaving the scene, and they can't let you go. Look at, look at them, look at them running towards you here, racing. They're selling a property, moving out. So this person is going through a divorce case. And um, I feel like they do need to possibly move or travel to come towards you, okay? So, um, yeah, this could take days, weeks, or months to get through this situation and, cle and clean it up and complete it, but this person's coming towards you. I feel like it's in progress now. They are breaking free, and they're going to show up and make you some kind of offer, tell you that they want to commit something, you're going to be getting signs that this person is coming towards you. I feel like you may already be getting some kind of messages um, in dreams, right? Or through song lyrics or something. Um, it could be a repetitive song that you keep hearing every time you, you know, go somewhere or... Um, all these numbers and sequence, you know, repetitive numbers coming back in. You're, you're, you may see this person's face in your dreams, lurking around in your dream state. So who I feel like you're already, that's already happening with you. And um, I, I just get the sense off of this card here that you know it's only a matter of time before this person shows up at your door. And maybe that's why you're in a movie theater here. <laughs> you know, I kind of get the sense that maybe some of you are possibly, um, you the feeling strong that this person's coming close to um, just showing up and talking to you. And so maybe you're busying yourself, you know, um, trying to avoid that situation a little bit because it feels awkward. 
um, and you don't want to be in any negative energy right now. So you're you're keeping your vibes high, and you got no uh, like the feeling of nervousness, awkwardness, worry. That's got no place in your life right now. I feel like you are totally in your north node, and um, yeah, you can feel this person's about to show up, and so maybe you're doing a lot of like planning activities for yourself, or you may be leaving your home, or you know, going to where they can't find you, because I mean, yeah, you know, you're leaving here, you're leaving here, you're somewhere else here. You're working up here. I feel like you may be trying to either distract yourself from thinking about this person and feeling their pull, or you know they're coming and maybe you just are trying to like stall it or something, avoid perhaps. Because some of you may not want to talk to this person again. And you're, I feel like you already know intuitively this person wants to commit. You already know they're on their way back, collective. Like, you can feel it or something. Um, yeah, you're in the process of detaching here. But, um, I mean, you're still highly intuitive. You can feel them wanting to come in begging. They're making a wish for you. They want to talk. I kid you not. They want to talk. And the reason why you're feeling them about to approach is because of this. This person cannot stop thinking about it. And they're sending you that energy. You know, it feels like telepathic communication at this point because they're thinking of you so intensely. They're so extremely obsessed. They could be feeling panic, fear, the same kind of things that you're feeling. I'm telling you, you can pick up on this person's energy, man. You know they're about to come forward. You do. Come on, you're smiling. You know, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're about to come forward. This person's wishing and hoping and praying. And yeah, that's what I'm getting. That song. Um, yeah. Hoping and wishing and praying. And I don't know what song that is, though. So if you guys know what, yeah, drop a comment. But yeah, that's the song that I'm getting here for your reading. It's funny, too, because I heard uh, I, that song popped into my head last night, like late last night. So um, yeah, now it's coming back out in your reading. Yeah, and this karmic, I'm telling you, this is that karmic. I knew it. I knew it. This is them watching you close, wanting revenge, wanting to retaliate. Um, this is something that your person knows, too. They want to try to keep this karmic out of it, okay? Um, because if they knew about this, the kar and that may be the secret, um, the karmic is going to try to sabotage this. They want to retaliate. They want revenge. And this person knows it. Yep, you don't want any part of any kind of karmic crap. Yep, you're like, nope, 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 you keep me out of this. I'm working on my finances. I'm working on my abundance, my new beginning, says the collective. I'm tired of being forbidden love. Yeah, this is a tragedy because I'm your divine feminine and you're losing me, okay? <laughs> But you're still like, I don't want any part of this. I'm, I want to move on. I want to move on. I want to move out of this stagnant energy and this nasty karmic situation. And this person won't let you go. Like, energetically, they won't let you go. They're not letting you go. They're actually planning on coming in and wanting to commit. You know, and this karmic, they know it. This is somebody who's intuitive also. So they can tell. They can tell what's going on here. They can feel it. And they, they know this masculine wants to come towards the divine feminine. They're already angry with you because, <laughs> because you're making all this money and you're independent and beautiful and living a lavish lifestyle, okay? Um, or about to. Put yourself where you need to, right? And this karmic is ticked off. They're jealous. They're envious. 
um, I'm feeling like a like a very quiet rage, which is kind of scary. I, I'll admit. Um, yeah, because they're being sneaky and quiet about it, but they're raging inside. Okay, they are. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, they know that this masculine is breaking free from them. They know that this masculine is moving forward and they want to come towards you. Yes, they do. This masculine wants to come in begging. Okay. So, um, yeah, they want to retaliate. This karmic is angry, angry, big angry. Um, let me get a couple on this karmic. What's going on with this karmic here? See, I, they won't even let me shuffle my deck. Um, what's going on with this karmic? Clarify this retaliation. They've been doing some kind of spell work, I feel. There's a lot of fighting going on in the background. They may be just somebody who manipulates, tries to... Um, I feel like this person is like um, getting a bunch of people together to hate on you. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. But yeah, I feel like your person is cutting them out. You, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe even an Aries or a Virgo. Um, but this person, your masculine is, is cutting them out. I feel like um, there's a lot of fighting going on in the background. I'm feeling, you know, um, this could also be like an attorney here with this King of Swords. There could be some fighting um, over like a property settlement, things like that. I feel like this karmic is going to an attorney. They're going to um, possibly fight for as much money and property and material things that they can get from this masculine. That's the feeling I'm getting because they are going through some kind of divorce. Um, and yeah, they are hiring an attorney that's going to fight um, for, I feel like, for everything that this masculine is worth. I got to say, because they feel very betrayed, bitter, angry. They feel heartbroken because they know this masculine is going to, they know this masculine is coming towards you. Yeah, because they know this masculine is choosing a new path. It's done. Yep, this is their, this is their retaliation. And I feel like they're watching you and the masculine really close because they want some kind of proof. They want some kind of proof that this masculine is going towards you, okay? And so, yeah, I feel like there's a masculine who feels kind of stuck. They want to walk away from the situation here. They're in love with you. They're seeing things from a whole new perspective. You're their true soulmate connection. Um, yeah. They could be dealing with them. Um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Gemini. I, I just get the sense that you could be dealing with a, um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Heavy on Pisces energy. Yeah, this karmic is going to take this masculine for whatever they can. Like everything. They're, gonna, they're hiring, I feel, an attorney who's going to fight on their behalf. Okay. Um, yeah, this is somebody who's very toxic, you guys. Very toxic. So expect for this, uh, there's going to be a massive court battle, I feel, for the money, um, the properties, everything. And they're going to fight over a toaster. They're going to fight over everything that they can and take whatever they can away from this person. It could be a home or a property here. They're really going to put up a fight for this. And they're hiring an attorney to fight for them. So I feel like this is a definite split. Yeah, it's over. But they want, I feel like this person wants um, your person's fortune. Whatever they've invested in, the karmic is going to try to get it. Okay? 
but then I feel like uh, once this door is shut on the situation, your person is going to come forward and give you an apology. They may even come forward before this is over because this divorce, this battle here in court, that could go on for months. Okay, it could go on for months. I, yeah, I feel like your person's going to be coming forward towards you with a with an apology, an offer. But here's the thing. All of this, all this money, everything that they invested in, um, everything that they've worked hard for, it's all going to be gone. I feel like they're going to have to walk away from everything. And that's going to leave them with one pinnacle. So this person's coming to apologize to you they're coming to tell you how they feel about you but they're also going to be telling you that their um their money their financial situation is going to change drastically because yeah look they're not even they're not going to have nothing they're not going to have anything to bring to the table or to offer you except for love now Here's the cool part about this reading. I feel like in the beginning when you met this person, I feel like maybe you, Collective, had nothing to offer this person except for a giant cup of beautiful love, right? You may have been in a time of struggle. You may, and I don't want to say nothing to offer, but you know what I mean? You were in a time of struggle. Maybe you didn't have a lot of money. Maybe you um, had lost some investments, right? And I feel like this person may have thought that you would never have anything to bring to the table, but you offered them love. You offered them love, and they turned their back on it, okay? Now, this person is coming to you um, with nothing to offer because they don't have any money. Their finances are going to change and dwindle. Um, they don't have any property. They're going to be in a time of struggle. But I feel like this person's offering you love. So roles have completely reversed here. Okay? Because they will lose everything that they've, they're not, they're, when they come in, they don't have anything to offer you but a cup of love. And that's pretty much what, you know, your cup of love in the beginning, that's what you had to offer this person in the beginning. And they didn't think it was enough. Now the shoe's on the other foot. Do you see what I'm saying? Now they're going to be in a time of struggle. But offering you, all they have to offer is, is love. Okay? All right. So, yeah, I just thought it was kind of interesting how the rules have been reversed in this big time, big time. Yeah, look, this karmic man, I feel like this karmic knows it. They know your person's approaching. And what did I say about that entrapment with a baby? It's right here. I feel like they may try to trap your person with some kind of pregnancy or... Or this could be something that's um, coming out in the open. You know, I feel like, here's the, here's the thing, I really feel like this person is ending the situation. This karmic can't hold on. They may be able to take all of this person's money and finances and property, but they can't hang on to this person. You know, um, they may have a, a baby that they need to, um, you know, help, like they need your masculine's help to provide for or something like that. I'm not, if they do, I'm not so sure it's even theirs. I'm not so sure it's this masculine's baby, but yeah, I feel like they really, they're just watching the situation really close. They're retaliating through taking this person, this masculine for everything they've got. I feel like you're being silent. You're not, um, they're looking maybe online too. This could be somebody looking online for any kind of information, but you're being absolutely silent. Some of you aren't even posting anything online, you know? Some of you, um, maybe you work online, but you're not talking about your personal life. Man, this, per this masculine is bossing up. Look at this. They're bossing up. They're being led to you. They want to speak the truth, okay? So this is a masculine now who knows what they want, 
who's coming in honest, okay, but with no money, nothing to offer, except that cup of love. So I feel like, yeah, they've, they're they learning their lessons from this karmic, this karmic. Um, I feel like it may come out in the open. They, they're observing so close. They may observe this person coming straight to you. I feel like they're they're getting ready to confess, man. But this karmic is not that far away. Clarify this Queen of Swords. This could also be your person going up in court with the higher font here and the Ace of Swords. Still, you're not shaken. You're not moved. You're not. Um, you know, you're not speaking, you know, I, you're not really a part of this. You're focused on you. Yeah, look, this person's about to come forward here. They can't forget about you. They want this. Uh, they can't stop thinking about you, having fond memories of you. They keep, you know, I feel like they're getting advice on this too, or maybe just trying to get their finances up. Um, yeah. This person's going to have one pentacle left collective. One pentacle. What did I say? That's enough to start new and, and build something new for themselves. Okay? And they're going to take that one pentacle and they're going to bring it to you. Because this person can't get you off of their mind. They know that you're their past life soulmate connection here. They know. So get ready. I feel like this person's about to communicate. They're going to be going. They're finally going to be coming to you with the truth. This karmic is watching this very closely, though. Okay? Um, see, proof that they come to you would be... Um, that could be something useful in this, in this court case because they're trying to take your person for everything. So get ready, Collective, because you know what? This person is about to come forward. Um, they're going to give you the offer with whatever they've got left over, okay? <laughs> Seriously, they're going to be taken for everything in court. I feel like this karmic is going to win. I feel like they are going to get pretty much everything out of this person. I don't know why I feel that way. I see this person picking up only one pentacle. They're going to lose all of this. And they're bringing it to you, okay? They're bringing this pentacle to you. But, yeah, they're on the verge, so get ready for this because they're coming in to talk. And in to talk. And in to 